This video report is brought to you in association with Halcyon, a classic 95-foot Bermudan catch built in 1929, which is now available for charter. The Cows Dinar St Marlowe race has always been one of the most popular in Rourke's calendar, and this year, with the Fastnet race to prepare for, it attracted 175 entries. The race got underway off a Royal Yacht Squadron line at midday on Friday, with a Force 4 southwesterly and the first of the ebb starting on the island shore. This made the inshore end of the line the favoured place to be. Class 3 was first away with 40 starters. Most of the fleet picked the inshore end of the line and short tacked up the shore to take advantage of a narrow band of ebbing tide that was already running here. Jean-Yves Chateau's Nicholson 33 Aromigui was to go on to win this class after a 32-hour race. In second was David Lees's High Tension 36 Hepzibar, with the Sigma 38 Persephone of London taking third. Sixty-eight boats came to the line in class two, and there were plenty of boats fighting for the inner end of the line to give the onshore spectators plenty to watch. French boats were to go on to dominate this class, with two A35s taking the top two places. In first was Aim Hasler, which had a margin of over 10 minutes from Chenapan. In third was another French yacht, the Nicolas de la Fournier's X34 Exile Mirrorboard, which also took the division and overall two-handed prize. The French took the top four places in the class, with the top Brits in fifth being Nick and Susie Jones sailing two-handed in their first 34.7 Astarte. Class 1 had 43 starters, and once again it was to be a French benefit, with their yachts taking 10 of the top 11 places. Only the Army Sailing Association's A40, British soldier, was to get amongst them in 8th place. The first 40, Coupe de Coeur, took handicap honours in this fleet by almost 12 minutes, from the IMX 40, Tom Poost 2. The Grand Soleil 43, Codium, took the third podium position. Class Zero and Super Zero started together, with 32 boats in Class Zero and 8 boats in Super Zero. The Dutch Grand Soleil 44R Spinek won Class Zero, ahead of the Swan 56 Noon Mark 6. In third was the new Kerr 46 Tenere de Breskens. These three also took the top three positions in the overall results. Eight boats raced in Super Zero, but the Amoka 60 Ocean of Smiles retired. The largest boat in the race, the new 100-footer Liara, took line honours in just under 17 hours, 20 minutes. She won the class on corrected time by almost 24 minutes and took fourth place overall. Second in class was the TP-52 Apollo, with the FAR-52 Chernikiv 2 taking third. Only one boat, the Amoka 60 Artemis, raced in the Super Zero Canting Keel Division, and she was the third boat into St Malo, behind Liara and Apollo. The final raw race before the Fastnet race is the Channel Race on Saturday 25th of July. The Interbank Regatta was being run by the Royal Corinthian Yacht Club at the weekend. Saturday morning brought a gusty southerly and grey wet conditions for the eight boats that competed. In the IRC class, Lightning Reflex and Anticipation got the best starts at the inshore end of the line and headed off west in the gusty wind but with flat water under the island shore. Jody Windmiller, steering J2O, went on to win Saturday's race ahead of Lightning Reflex and Anticipation. On Sunday, it was Anticipation which took the win, ahead of Exuberant and Outrageous. In the cruiser class, Aquila Maris got the better of Wenimbi on both Saturday and Sunday.
The fourth round of a Red Funnel Cows Keelboat Championship was being run by the Royal Thames Yacht Club this weekend. With the Force 5 south-south-westerly blowing, the race committee set the windward leeward course in the shelter of the island shore near Wooden Creek. The daring fleet was first away on Saturday, with 12 boats taking the start. Giles Peckham's Dauntless had the best of this and the second race, taking two fairly comfortable wins. In the first race, Dynamite took second, with Decoy coming in third. In race two, Defiant came home second, with Dynamite in third. With most of the local Dragon fleet in Falmouth for the Edinburgh Cup, only two boats raced this weekend, with Supremacy leading fanfare in both races. Eight X1 designs made the first start on Saturday, with ten competing in the second race. X187 won both races, by a minute in the first race and two minutes in the second. X147 took second in race one, ahead of X99 Zinbai. Zinbai came second in race two, with X147 coming home third. Three Etchells raced on Saturday, and it was David Franks's Elvis which won both races. Pale Tide and Best Mate shared the second and third positions. Sunday brought even more wind, but the sunshine made for a much more pleasant day's racing. The Etchells were first away, with four boats racing. Elvis made it a perfect weekend, with two more wins in the two races. 1331 took second in the first race, with Pale Tide in third. Pale Tide also took third in the second race, when Best Mate took second place. Nine Darings raced in the day's two races, and it was Dynamite which won the first race, ahead of Audax and Diamond. Decanter won the second race of the day, with Audax again taking second, and Dolphin in third. The same two Dragons raced on Sunday, and again it was Supremacy which won both races, ahead of Fanfare. Six X-Boats made the first start, and seven raced in the second race of the day. X187 Zoe made it a clean sweep for the weekend, with a win in both races. Foxy was also very consistent, scoring two seconds. Sapphire took third in race one, while Quest took the third place in the final race of the day. The Swan Fleet gathered in cows at the weekend in preparation for the 14th biennial Swan European Regatta. Over 40 classic and modern Swan yachts ranging from 36 to 65 feet were berthed in Cowes Yacht Haven as they prepared for the series of Windward Lured and Round the Cannes Solent races. The event is hosted by Norta's Swan, with racing organised by the Royal Yacht Squadron. The fleet is split into three classes and they'll be competing for some of the classic trophies, including the Highland Fling Trophy for the highest placed owner driver and the ultimate prize and title of Swan European Champion. This video report was brought to you in association with Halcyon, the classic 95-foot Bermudan catch built in 1929, which is now available for charter.